How's it going everyone? We are back at it again with some more Sora Online Rising Steel because Memory Defect apparently doesn't have any new units but we do have some over here in Rising Steel so we got a brand new deal um, and she's kind of broken so um, we're going to check out her details real quick and uh, hopefully you guys go after her she's, you guys get lucky because she's actually really good and I don't know if they're changing up the format the way they're making scouts now or if it's just for this banner to entice people to summon more before they drop some hype characters maybe the uh, the next bikini or swimsuit characters coming soon um, but uh, for her banner if you make it to step 5 you're guaranteed to get deal on step 5 so if you're chasing only one copy then you're only going to be looking at a maximum of a thousand cubes so that's a really good deal and then after every step every four star you get after step seven or i should say step eight you're guaranteed a new four star which we've only seen them do on limited edition characters but this deal is not a limited edition character and that question as to why they did it like this and like i said she's worth the she's worth going after um, she's the first character in the game to have a dual active link partner, which means she can act she she can activate her active link um, with both Eastcon and Subtilizer. But that's kind of weird because um, there's only one Subtilizer in the game. He's Dark Element, not Water Element. And um, there's two Eastcons. One is Earth Element, and the other one is Fire Element. So I don't see how you're gonna be running. Or activating her active link if all three of these characters are not on the water element team which I'm guessing they're gonna either release a subtilizer or East Con um, as a ranking event character very soon um, or a summon character but I don't know we'll see we'll see but anyway she has really good magic attack almost 2400 um, speed is kind of average kind of low she has she does have good health though um she's an enhanced mode character as well as having assault and break uh this is not really relevant uh, when you go into enhanced mode uh you raise your magic attack for 10 percent for two turns um and then her her uh incarnate skill before enhanced mode uh is incarnate magic attack on single enemy damage Increases 30% when the enemy's incarnate is 150% or over that. So that is kind of an old skill that we've seen a lot of old characters. So they're bringing that back as well. It's going to be interesting. And uh, she actually does become the second highest break character in the game. First being Subtilizer with 77.50% I believe it was. And this deal actually has 75% break when she goes into enhanced mode. So that's pretty... That's pretty awesome right there. So, second character to have that the highest break is gonna be interesting to see. Um, let's see. Uh, she can lower the enemy's incarnate charge by twenty percent for two turns, and incarnate breaks for seventy-five percent on her break. Her assault is a magic attack strong and extra strong on a single enemy. Lowers magic res by twenty percent for one turn. And the damage increases by 20% when your enemy's incarnate is 50% or lower. And her incarnate on enhanced mode is magic attack on a single enemy when the when you are in enhanced mode. And then the damage increases 30% when the enemy's incarnate is 150% or over. So same as before, enhanced mode. And they're doing, uh, I want to say sort of like the limited edition um, characters imaginariums and uh, in which she's actually the first character to have uh, well she's not the first one to have this but um, she's the first non limited edition character to have this type of imaginarium so reduce required MP by 5% for an un unlimited amount of time or turns increase the magic type by 6% at the start of battle for two turns Effects active only while facing a fire element enemy or, or well yeah so 
Um, six percent. That's that's a lot, and that's for one Imaginarium. So if you have four of them, she's gonna be doing uh, really good damage. Uh, her leader skill is increase magic type of all water element party members by five percent when you are the leader of the party. Member skills are as normal. Magic attack increased by one percent. And of course, her partner is Subtilizer and Eastcon. So we're gonna be jumping in. Let's do the single real quick. And uh, if you guys decide to jump in for um, that's a really she's like a really built. She's uh, she's a really well built character, and she's definitely worth it. Um, and uh, she's gonna definitely pair up very well with that leaf if you guys pulled her. Um, but um, I'm feeling like this is a bait banner though. Like they made her just as good as she is. Um, because I'm, there's probably some hype characters coming out very soon. Like I said, the swimsuit characters that came out like around this time last year. So pretty sure um, they're up next. But who knows, right? So let's check out her incarnate real quick. And I, they really did work on this. Like the effects of this incarnate is really, really cool. Like just the aura of this death ball. Like look at that. It looks amazing. Like this incarnate. I don't, I don't know. Like they said, let's not work on Leafa. Let's put all our efforts into Dill. So yeah, she's like, she's a real cool character to have. I mean, I'm pretty sure no one was expecting Dill to be the next sum summonable character, but um, we'll take it. Brand new character. Um, hopefully we can get her all three copies. Like I said, um, I go for three copies and just buy the other two. But hopefully we can get them before or buy step five. So that I don't have to go too deep. Because I didn't check what her weapon would be then she doesn't really use a weapon in the anime i'm guessing they're just gonna give her like a rapier or sword uh we're starting off with a dead multi that's uh, a good way i mean i'm not expecting to have insane luck like i did on the lethal banner because uh i'm i'm just i just know I, I'm, I'm gonna get shafted on this banner Cause that leaf of banner was godly like that that video it was just i don't even know where that luck was coming from but i'm pretty sure we wasted all our luck on that video so hopefully we don't go too too deep into this rabbit hole but you never know because like i said look no animation nothing on the second multi neither most likely yep all right Step three, let's go. And uh, yeah, like I've said earlier in the video, uh, memory defrag has been really quiet, which is gonna be interesting to see what they have planned to release. Um, it's been like almost two weeks without a new banner, and that's probably why I haven't been uploading memory defrag. I've just been working on. Going the account, no animation again, three times in a row. But yeah, hopefully they announce something new soon. Maybe a new event or like a new banner or something. But in the meantime, I'm gonna be recording uh, uh, showcases, uh, summons. If we don't end up getting uh, all the copies for Dill here, as well as uh, I did record my uh, first time playing into a factor which is coming to the channel very soon so stay tuned for that if you guys want to uh, want to join me on that uh, journey um quite interesting uh so we are getting a four star here hopefully it's still a step four yeah we'll see we'll see um typically i have a record of getting a unfeatured characters somehow even though they have way lower rate than the featured characters but <laughs> okay i mean i need dupes in that yu so i'll take that i guess but 
That's gonna be our four star uh step five. We're gonna get Dill here. Our first copy, sadly. So I'll go step seven. Then I'll check out her weapon. And uh probably do one multi there and then probably come back. Um because I have enough exchange swords to exchange for a weapon. So I don't have to summon there and save more cubes for this banner. Because even if she has a pickup, like I said, it's better just to summon on this banner after step 8. Because you are guaranteed um, deal no matter what. So even if you get like a 4 star animation um, after step 8, it's always going to be deal no matter what. So Alright, so we know it's deal. So uh, let's skip. Yeah, so we know it's her. Um, but the question is, can we get multiple in this one multi? All right, this is a really, yeah, this is a really clean animation. I really like this animation a lot. Um, this comes to show you like uh, they they have a lot of ideas, a lot of characters they can bring out. That are still not in the game. Um, so they they have a lot to go on still. So ah, uh, it was only one deal. Okay. So let's keep going. Hopefully we can pull at least one more. Um, but we we can only hope. So um, uh, yeah. It's gonna be very interesting. Uh. It's gonna be very interesting to see who to replace on the team now, because Dark, I mean, Water Element team is has a lot of really good units. Wow, nothing. Step six, nothing. Okay. Well, this is gonna be a skip. All right, step seven already. So that was pretty quick. Um, but anyways, uh, yes, Water Element team is really packed with a lot of good characters. Um, it's one of the better built element teams, I want to say. Uh, second has to be Dark Element. Because Fire is really lacking. Fire is probably the weakest, in my opinion. Um, it, it has to be. Um, I'm thinking, um, but yeah, I feel like Fire Element is the weakest team in the game. Because it used to be like fire and wind element, but wind element got really buffed with that 80 cent administrator. Um, and they're probably gonna get another buff soon. Uh, they should be the next element after water element, I believe. I could be mistaken. They might go to light element team, but we'll see. We'll see. All right. So we're only getting the guaranteed. So, uh. Oh, nice. It's still. Alright, we just need one more. Oh, I will say, what? Not the guaranteed. But it's Tise. Okay. Soon to Tise. Too bad she's maxed out already. Um. But like I said, let's go back. Let's see her weapon. It is a rapier. Okay. Water serpent. Rapier. Um. Let's do this one real quick. Why not? Free multis are always the best multis, that's what I like to say. Even though uh, sometimes, well, most of the time you get shafted. <laughs> like we got right here. Alright. I mean, a lot of times, like, that's where I get my webs from. Free multis. Especially characters like the one, your 10 scouts. Really good value. Alright, skip. Oh. We got it. All right. Just like uh, just like awesome. We got the weapon on first multi. Nice. So now we can actually just go back and waste the rest of these 850 cubes over on this banner. So we just need one more. So any animation we get, that's pretty pretty much it. We got deal. Um. So also also. Something I forgot to mention is, uh, alongside this deal, um, there was no new either story event, um, but they did bring back Cathedral, which 
God, man, that that event has, or yeah, just like that overall event has been like on Hades it's ever since the anniversary. Cause that's when they uh, they introduced the what was it? What volume was it? It was like volume eight with the Integrity Knights as the uh, enemies, and that was like well over like I want to say seven months, eight months. Um, in my opinion, this year is change up Cathedral. Cause I don't know, it's kind of boring. I mean, I like like I I like the aspect of it for what it is, and that's a really good sound right there. Burst. All oh, right, we got Dill. All right, so we got Dill. Um, I'll probably just end up going to the Imaginarium shop now, getting the last two copies, and uh, then we'll call the video. But yeah, they need to change up Cathedral. Like, it's a good mode. But if they changed it up a bit more, because it's always the same. Uh, you go in there, make teams, fight a boss on um, each floor until you make it to the end. And, uh, and once you're done with it, you're done with it. Like, there's nothing really. The missions, I guess to go back and do it like two more times and then that's all they need to make it different they need to change it up a bit in my opinion to make it more interesting or just um make a new mode i feel like co-op would actually work good in this game so if they would like develop some sort of co-op mode um evolving the cathedral i guess it would um help out a lot more so uh also, while we're in the exchange shop, they did add for Cathedral a new armor too, which is like this, uh, I want to say like this Asuna armor. Uh, but it looks similar to like these other ones where it just increased HP by 6%. So there's nothing really cool about that. But hey, new armor. They need to add more 4 star armor. Um... I forgot what we we're gonna come for, but like I said, we need the last two cops for Dill. There one more and she'll be maxed out. Alright, there is a maxed out deal guys. We got the weapon, we got a maxed out deal. Um so overall, that's a good video for me. Um I actually thought we were gonna get more shafted. But luckily we walked out not too not too much harmed. Yeah, we did end up with 350 cues, but anyways, hopefully you guys got lucky in this banner. If you went all the way to set five for Dill, and good for you. Well, it's better if you got it earlier, but you know what I mean. At least you got the unit um, way cheaper than back then, where you weren't even guaranteed the units on set five or seven. So um, yeah, guys, if you liked the video. Make sure to go down there hitting the like button as well as subscribing for more content just like this. Like I said, I have a lot of things planned up um, to play. I got the big three games, Memory Defrag, Rising Steel, and Integral Factor. I'm working on recording, uploading, as well as other side projects like some Let's Plays on the console games. I want to replay those on the channel um, because uh, you never know when the next bit... SAO game might come out. So yeah, I have a lot of things planned out. So hopefully you guys enjoy the videos and subscribe to join that journey. So uh, as always, thank you guys for watching the videos and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.